Side and um, our 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 hopes were that we could maybe do a do a, um, a a seaside singing, but it has been cloudy and rainy all day. And sometime during our sing along, if you want to, I can get up and can relocate the camera over to the uh, to get you to look at the bay a little bit of the ocean and hear the sound of the ocean a little bit. We have to do it sooner rather than later though, because it's getting dark already. But it's been cloudy. We could see and hear the water, but that's about it. So we're inside here. Yes, we are still on vacation until tomorrow morning. We're heading back up to, to um, Sheridan. Right now we are down in the town of, what town Newport. are we in? Newport. That's right, down in Newport. And thanks to our um, Rock of Ages ministry, they gave those of us who uh, worked with them all, or were with them all through the COVID scenario, they gave us a weekend getaway. And this is part of that. And of course it is, our wedding anniversary celebration. Thank you so much for all of you who wished us a, um, a happy anniversary. And it has been, I'm telling you, I was just like lazy with a capital L today. I guess we both were, weren't we? Just snacking and after dinner or after this sing-along tonight, we're going to a special restaurant called Georgie's. Georgie's. And do they have crab cakes to kill for? Oh, my word. I'm not that great of a fan of crab cakes. When I like my crab or my meat, you know, I like it without all the extras. Like, you know, even steak. Why put steak sauce on steak and that kind of thing? But these crab cakes, they're just good. Very pricey, but we're celebrating something very special this weekend. So, yeah, we're doing a sing-along. And Ruth got these words from the sing-along request um, last Thursday. Right? And I wonder how you guys have all been doing. Hopefully it's warming up some. I heard you guys had some more rain or snow up in the back east in the Pennsylvania area maybe. But here it's uh, it's been 40, 50 and rainy, 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 rainy. <laughs> but it's been a great, great time just get away from everything. Sit in the jacuzzi for a little bit. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do some singing. Thank you for all your requests that you gave in here. What's that? Yeah, well, let's do that. Alleluia, anyhow. That's a good one for a for a marriage celebration, right? <laughs> Sometimes when things get crazy, you say Alleluia, anyhow, right? We're gonna do this. Fanny, my sister Fanny, loves this song. She always asks for it when the family gets together. Once I read about a man named Job in the key of D. His trials and afflictions laid him low. His wife said, why don't you curse God and die? But instead he sang and held his head up high. Hallelujah, anyhow. Well, I'll never let my troubles get me down. What truth comes if I can bring? I hold my head up high and sing. Hallelujah, anyhow. When you're in the valley dark and low, your 
friends are true and blue, in they go. If you want to see your troubles fly, just sing this song and hold your head up high. Hallelujah, anyhow, will I never let my troubles get me down? Whatever problems life may bring, I hold my head up high and sing. Cold. I had them inside to preach her strong and bold. They said, Why should we sit down here and cry? So we said they sang and held their heads up high. Hallelujah, anyhow. Will never let my troubles get me down. Whatever problems life may bring, I hold my head up high and see. Like we say sometimes when things get kind of upset, we say this too will perish or this too will pass, right? I like the Old Testament phrase, and it came to pass. <laughs> so anyway, where are we going next, hon? Well, I guess we'll do Want to do some kids' songs? Well, we don't have our horn here for the kids, but we're going to do a couple of kids' requests. And we don't have popcorn. And we don't have popcorn. Popcorn is back with the Lehman family, back up there, up uh, up north a little bit, there in the uh, McMinnville Amity area, actually. So he's hanging out up there. Thank you for to the layman's for putting, or yeah, for keeping him and keeping an eye on him. And uh, we're gonna sing a song that uh, let me see. I think Patch the Pirate caught this, and we had our kids sing this with us when we were when they were knee high to puddle ducks when they were little kids, and we go around as, to nursing homes and places like that and sing. If I had what? Oh, somebody requested for this one. Oh, sorry about that. Go Ruth, ahead, honey. Ruth Weaver requested, If I Had a Brother. Ruth Weaver, If I Had a Brother. Let's take it down. In the key of G, I think. No, that's too low. That's too high or too low. Let's go to, let's try C. If I had a brother, how we love each other. Now, how's that go? I forget how. If I, let's go up to D then. If I had a brother, there you go. How we love each other. I would never call him ugly name. We would never battle. Or we would never tattle. He could play with all my toys and games. If you have a sister or brother, be kind to each other. Never say, that's mine, don't fight the time away. If you have a sister or a brother, be thankful for each other. Better hug that sister or brother today. If I had a sister, I would never hit her. She could have the biggest piece of cake. I'd be her protector, she'd have all the love that she could take. If you have a sister or brother, be kind to each other. Never say, that's fine, don't fight the time away. If you have a sister or brother, be kind to each other. Better hug that sister or brother today. They grow up real soon. You know, brothers are a blessing, sisters are refreshing, home is such a happy place to be. Through all kinds of weather, we will stick together, I'm so thankful for my family. If you have a sister or a brother, be kind to each other, never say, that's mine, don't fight the time away. If you have a sister or brother, be thankful for each other. Better hug that sister or brother today. Ah, there is something special.
special about family. You don't realize how special it is until, you know, you kind of start doing your separate ways or you lose a loved one or something. But I read something today that was really cool in my Bible reading in, in the book of Mark. It says that Jesus was out there ministering, you know, and his brothers and, uh, or his brothers came, his family came to him and said, or they said, your family's looking for you. And he looked around on the people and he, and he said, who is my sister or brother? Or mother, he said. He didn't say father. He said, sister or brother or mother. And it says, to him that doeth the will of the Father. And so, living room guys, as you're serving the Lord, we're family. We really are. And that is so cool. So, yeah. Let's make some more memories tonight, right? As a family. <laughs> and we've done it. We've prayed together. We've wept together. We've sung together. And we've loved together. And by the way, some of you request a song for me, will you? So that we don't forget to sing it next time. Is he worthy? We worked on it a little bit uh, tonight, but uh, Ruth felt like it was kind of a big bite to do it. And uh, I agree. Didn't have it printed out. But I'd like to do that sometime. Um, is he worthy? Um, heard my, uh, uh, our, our son's church. Uh, they were singing it and uh, a couple Sundays ago. And I'm like, wow, I love, love, love that song because... The Lord is worthy of all the, of all the, um, yeah, praise, of all the glory that we can give to him. Anyway, somebody asked for this one? Yes. Ellen Mass requested, How Far Is Heaven? How Far Is Heaven? Kind of a sad song, but it's got a beautiful thought, and that someday we'll be able to go there. A little girl was waiting for her. Oh boy, I feel a sneeze coming on. Here we go. It's time for that annual sneeze time, right? Nope, not coming. A little girl was waiting for her daddy one day. It was time to meet him when she heard her mommy say, Come to mama, darling. guitar before had everything set up and I bumped it and knocked it down on familiar settings here didn't have my guitar holder and I thought it sounded like it's a little off pitch but anyway we'll see we'll see okay Brianna Barkman requested God is so good hey Brianna this is for you God is so good amen all right kids sing along on this one God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, He's so good to me. He answers prayer, hallelujah. He
children's requests that we had. You know what? If we're going to show them the ocean at all, the sun was peeking through the cloud there a little bit. Did you see that? Just a little bit. Can you open the door? Hold on. We're going to shake it around a little bit. We just want to get you a little sound of the water of the West Coast here. Moving, moving camera around. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Don't drop it over the balcony, Ruth said. We're up on floor four, so we're not real high. Hear that? Isn't that amazing? Ah, uh, yeah, I wish we could sing out here, but it's cold. It's too cold to do that. Wind's really blowing. There it is in all its glory. We usually have some beautiful sunsets out here, but... What's that, honey? Oh, show down the beach. Yeah, I can go down the beach ways. See that, guys? <laughs> This is the West Coast. There's a lighthouse down there. There's a lighthouse on the hillside. Anyway, my toesies are getting cold. Coming down this way to this side. We are oceanfront all the way, baby. I'm telling you. <laughs> Back inside again. What's that, hon? Too much salt water on it? I tell you, it don't take long. We parked our car by the ocean front the other, or for Sunday, and sat there for a while. And it wasn't long till the I noticed. Well, a little while, but I noticed the uh, salt water was getting on the windshield pretty good. There we go. We're back. Does that look okay? I'm not sure how the sound quality is or anything down here, guys, but we're here. Thought we had to just share that with you. That's the view we've been at. <laughs> I hear you, Betty Peters time. Come to Florida, it's a little warmer here, huh? <laughs> yeah, sticky hot warm. Hello. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Talking about our honey or our anniversary for our honeymoon, we we didn't go to Cancun and all these fancy exquisite places that people go, but we had a ball. I was asking Ruth some of her favorite memories of of our romance, and uh, it was one of them was the honeymoon. And uh, yeah, we got that. We went down to Florida for our honeymoon. Can you imagine that? It was fun. It was fun. Lots of good memories. We was young, man. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? All right, we're going back to singing again. Oh, one memory. Oh, let's go ahead and sing some. I talk too much. Let's sing some. Okay, LaDonna requested Like a River Glorious. All right, this is for you, LaDonna. Like a River Glorious is God's perfect peace. <laughs> yeah, they've been walking through some. Some uh, fun times right now with their electric still off, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it's cool that they'll get their electric back. That's what it's cool. They're still waiting on it. I think they'll probably wait the rest of the week the way it sounded, but uh, they're up on the hills behind Sheridan and they're the line going up the mountain, up the hill there. I would have called it a mountain, but not in Oregon. Um, the, the trees came down and just took it down, so it's quite a mess. Anyway, like a river glorious is God's perfect peace over all victorious in its bright increase. Perfect yet it flows fuller every day. Perfect yet.
peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Well, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Yeah, I like that idea. 420 people in this motel room. We're really breaking it, aren't we? <laughs> the occupancy code there. <laughs> They're pretty funny about that, right? Oh, uh, that's great. Hey, we're going to do the anniversary song? Okay, I guess. Lowell and Pauline Eby have their 52nd wedding Ooh, anniversary. Here you go, guys. I'm trying to think. I don't know if they said when. 52nd wedding anniversary it's somewhere. around this time. <laughs> yeah, that's the Lowell and Pauline from Snow Hill area, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Congratulations. And then we also noticed Steve and Diane Yoder are also celebrating their 41st. Yep, their 41st. Today. They were a day ahead of us. Tomorrow is ours. Woohoo! 41 years ago, this beautiful bride walked up the aisle. Oh, my goodness. And Lowell and Pauline said, "Pick a song." So I guess we're gonna do this. Yeah, one. we're gonna pick the we're gonna pick the one that talks about us getting old and having a happy anniversary. How you like that? All right. My darling, happy anniversary. I've watched the gold in your hair turn silver and the spark. Getting weaker All these things say it wasn't yesterday So darling, happy anniversary You've made my life for me Once again But it's meaning we will cherish forever. But in the book of our lives, it's just a page. So, darling. Share and I gotta tell you just a couple of them. One of them, just just good memories. One time for Christmas, I think it was after we were engaged. I decided to try to do something special. Old country boy like me, how, what do you what do you give to a wife, a woman who you love? You don't have much money, so you save everything you can. I, I remember bought her a watch, you know. But anyway. Um, I decided I'm going to build her a piece of furniture. Now, I don't know where I got that weird idea, but anyway, so I decided I'm going to make her a, uh, a bookcase, and I did. I, I didn't have all kinds of good equipment, the wood making equipment. I had me a jigsaw and a, and a saw, you know, and some sandpaper, and I was down in that basement, and I started making her a bookshelf. I stained it and, you know, cut the legs out and just, yeah, did it all, you know, and and it, it was a rough piece of work, be honest with you. But so uh, she was gone for the day, and I went and I put it in her bedroom down in her house there. And she, they, she also, you guys also slept in the basement, didn't you? 
nice basement there but it was and uh, so I put it down there and and I took her down to it and I'm kind of like oh, I hope she likes it well I don't know if she liked it or not but her squeal of delight <laughs> was worth it all because uh, she just left out this squeal so, oh and I think she was probably expecting something a lot nicer but I don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had that bookshelf for a long time. I don't know. We, we don't got it anymore, I don't think. I think we just gave it away anyway. So that was one of the special memories. And another quick one, another quick, uh, um, and you know, in our home, um, it was very dysfunctional. I, I, you know, I just, I look back now and I sometimes wonder how the Lord brought us through it all. Um, and this, I love my dad. I really do not want to bring, speak despairingly of him, but he was abusive, and he probably would have been uh, probably would have been diagnosed bipolar. I'm pretty sure because he'd have his moods when you were just it was just great, a lot of fun to be around. And other times he could be very, very abusive physically. Even I remember a couple of those times when he lost it on us um, and on my brother and I. But anyway, what I wanted to mention that for is because in the whole process. He had this thing about bilers. He didn't care for bilers. And um, I'm getting a little personal here, but this is personal sharing time. And so um, I wanted to date Ruthie. And it was right during the time when the Gothard seminars went through. Remember the Bill Gothard seminars where he taught? And I, and I am thankful for the Gothard seminars. I know he might have went off the deep end and some people overinterpreted him. Some people hated him and didn't like him and said he was a goon and all that. But it blessed us. It just did, spiritually. And um, I, there, it was there I came under the concept that even though Dad may not be a Christian, may not be serving the Lord, uh, God still put him in an authority over me for a reason. And so I was sure that he would not like it if Ruth and I dated. And uh, Ruth and I were liking each other. We're talking about dating and stuff. This was the second time around. And so it was pretty serious, and I told her that after being at the Gothard seminars, I just don't think I can move ahead with dating her without Dad's blessing, or at least permission. So one night I popped the question. She was It was summertime. She was at the ball game. We had a ball game that night, a youth group ball game. And I'm like, Dad, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, I brought it up. I think it was at the dinner table of all places. And I said, Dad, I'd, I'd really like to date Ruth. And he just, wow, you know, he's go ahead. He said, I don't care if you get married to her. And I'm like, ooh, okay. I got, I got a double whammy. She was waiting at the ball game on pins and needles that night because we had decided if he says no, we won't right now. We'll pray about it. And uh, so he had said, yeah, and, and uh, we lived happily ever after. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> but she put up with so much uh, that she just loved me. And one of the sad things of, at our, that happened at our wedding, as a matter of fact, it just kind of, you know, if, if we would have if we would have focused on it, it would have been a disaster. But we wanted to get married, and I, you know, we believe that the wedding was not as important as the the people who were getting married at the wedding, right? So we, you know, we knew we had to make some sacrifices. Dad didn't even want us to have a wedding cake, and um, but then uh, then I think your sisters made one for you, right? My sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law. Wow, Millie ordered, ordered, one, ordered one for you and, and and decorated it when she found out. That uh, we he wouldn't buy us one or let us have one. He didn't want us to have one. But anyway, in the whole process, I thought we were going to do the rehearsal dinner for the, you know, we get together, you have rehearsal, and then we have a bit of a dinner for the family. And I innocently, we did the rehearsal, and I'm like, let's pray for the rehearsal dinner. I said, I don't know what we got to eat, but it's got to be good and all this. And never having realized that at that point, Dad had pulled out his support and it said to my mom, bless her heart, it was broken, I know, and our sisters that she wasn't allowed to have a make rehearsal dinner. So they quickly scrambled and went out. I Some other people, did. your mom did, and donuts. went, went yeah. out and got donuts and, and, and coffee and stuff. I, when I found that out, I was so embarrassed. But anyway, there was a lot of healing that happened, even during the wedding, even after the wedding. Dad and I hugged each other and, and he wept and I could tell that there was just a lot of sorrow there a lot of regret but years later I would just want to say this yet yeah, and then we'll move on in in that whole painful relationship one of the things that happened was when I went to Rosedale at 21 I had determined in my mind that I'm going to go into ministry somewhere and I wouldn't go back home I'd probably join the gospel echoes or some other ministry and I remember Missions Day, Missions Weekend I mean when we focused it particularly on that I couldn't wait to see where God was going to take me only to, at the end of that weekend, have Rosedale Corral sit up front and sing that song, or stand up front and sing that song, Back to Your Flock, So Shepherd. 
And, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get emotional, but sensing that God said, nope, Mark, I don't want you to go into the mission field now. I want you to go back home. And, um, boy, I wrestled with that one. Whoa. I remember in the chapel, all the way, we're wrestling with God. And, um, anyway, I went back home. And I want to share that because one of the more beautiful things that happened was after we got married, after that wedding, Dad and I were, it started out with a family argument almost and ended up with just me and him talking. And I said, Dad, I said, I never heard you say that you love me. And I said, it was after my sister's wedding. Thank you, hon. And um, I said, I said, I'd like to hear you say that once. He got this sleepish look on his face. You know, back in that day, you just didn't say that much. For some reason, it just wasn't part of the lingo of the culture there, the Amish culture, the ex-Amish culture, or those, you know, growing up in the Amish culture, I guess. And uh, I was, we weren't Amish anymore, of course, and dad and mom never joined, or dad never joined the Amish, but he'd come from that backdrop. So he kind of got the sleepish look. He says, well, you know, if it changes, I'll tell you. And we kind of had a joke about that. And I'm like, no, Dad, I just want to hear you say it. And uh, after it was all over, he said it. And something, something broke in that man after he said that. We had a long conversation. It was like 2 o'clock at night. I wanted to go home. I had to go to the bathroom. And he just wouldn't stop talking. So, you know, God, God led us in steps. That we look back now, we're like, how did God do all this stuff? So anyway, sorry if I shared too much, but uh, and getting all sentimental. But boy, lots of good memories. I'll tell you, lots of good memories. God is good. God does healing. He gives He He gives us uh, new chances to start over, and, and He did that. He's redemptive. Where are we going next? Okay, your sister Fanny requested someone is praying for you. Well, this came in a good place because <laughs> anybody prayed us through all that. It was my mama. Somebody is praying for you now. How's that go? Someone is praying. I don't even know if we know this, huh? We do this before. How's it go? You remember how it goes? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So the, the the chords are like. Remember, thank you for Mama for praying for me, but that one I don't. I Sorry, we we'll have, we'll have to scratch at Fanny with apologies. <laughs> God is good, but I, he didn't. He didn't help me just remember that one. <laughs> Woo! Don't know this one I don't know either. Marianne Desiree requested family Bible. Let's try. There's a family Bible on the table. It's pages torn and hard to read, but the family Bible on the table. I can remember these two. There are old ones that I heard. Willie Nelson sings this thing. I'll tell you why. We will pick those two up. I'm sorry about those two train wrecks in a row, but we will pick those up and uh, look at those again. A lot of these, um, I had to print out a lot because remember our Wi-Fi was out. So a lot of these came kind of different times the last couple weeks. I mean, last week. You have to skip that one, too. That one, too? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's just the way she rolls, man. How about try this, this one? one. Yeah, we'll try this one. Okay, Janie Hoover requested you raise me Janie up. Janie Hoover, we'll try this one. <laughs> when I am down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burns Raise me up. 
let's go here once. Let's try this. Okay, yeah. Now go flip it once. printout that we got only had that one verse on it so but then he goes up and up and all that shows off his great josh shows off his great skills there that i don't have <laughs> anyway man where'd you get all these songs baby cakes these are the ones that accumulated mm. while our oh, wife oh okay well do you know I this one you... let me call you sweetheart no you don't i don't think one? so not not correctly no okay <laughs> Boy, we're, we're running through songs fast, aren't yep. we? You know this one? Let's do it all. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm a nickel requested over and over again. I'm a nickels. Yeah, we've done this a few times. Do we have the other page to it? Yes, okay. We'll try it. <laughs> I've stood on the banks of a wide raging river, trusting that I did cross. I've made my way through some valleys and deserts, believing I'd never get lost. Well, I've stood at the foot of what felt like Mount Everest, knowing I'd have the strength for the climb. Cause through every trial, each test and temptation, one thing is sure and says he will do. I simply say every battle has taught me there's nothing he won't help me through. So why should I dwell on the hardships and struggles when I look just beyond them I see the way this will end is with great self Back over our 41 years, I have to say that's a, that's one of the more accurate testimonies. We've been through some crazy things, 
some crazy parts of our journey, but God's been there all the time, even though sometimes, like tonight, you couldn't see the sun because of the clouds. Sometimes you could hardly see them. But um, we certainly don't have the, uh, the uh, edge on hardships because I'll tell you, some of your stories are very inspiring as well. There's my COVID sneeze. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't left out a good sneeze since COVID. I always just hold it back because I don't want anyone to think that I have COVID. You do want it every single <laughs> I, I do do one every single but I hold it back. It's sing-along sneeze. It's my sing-along sneeze. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You know this one? No. Where are you getting these songs, my dear? Because he... called Calvary. Jesus, my Lord, suffered for You want to sing it? You no, sing it. No, no, go ahead, baby. You sing it. I don't think like that. All right, all right, well, man, I'll tell you what, girl. <laughs> okay, do you know this one? Oh. We could do the other one. I don't know, she might have meant the other one. Which one? I think we better do the other one. one. Yeah, we better do the other one. Although, I, I, you know, I love this one, though. I was... uh, yeah, how's it go? Does it, is this the record tune here? Yeah. Just as I am. Part of that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give me a t- 
towel here. There's so. a hanky over there. Where? You got one? Okay. We're kind of discombobulated tonight. I guess we're just too madly in love. Is that what it is? <laughs> All right. What we got next? And huh? that one was requested by Lucille Miro or Miro. Yeah, Lucille. Sorry. I hope we got enough of the right one there. And Martha Yoder requested he'll pilot me. Hey, before we do that one, let's do a couple familiar ones. Sing along, froze up. Is that for everybody? Uh oh. Did it freeze up for everybody, guys? Okay. Oh, where could I go but to the Lord? Living below in this old sinful world. Hardly a comfort can afford, but we come to face temptation sore. Tell me, where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. some alto part to it you know, know. <laughs> we should, that's in the book that's got to be in that book i don't think no that. okay all right all right statler brothers is that one okay martha yoder requested it. Well, martha, me. martha we're gonna try because you requested it <laughs> although i cannot see the way or life's tempest just see i know that you It's gonna be too high. It's gonna be too. Let's, let's try. Let's try. Let's try it a lot lower than that. Let me see. Let's go all the way down to D. Although I cannot see the way or life's tempest, just see. I know that Jesus is my friend and that He'll pilot me.
I think you go to that. Come, and then I say, come what may, what may, come what may. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Is that, whoa, man. We're getting rid of a bunch of uh, songs here that <laughs> we don't really know, but we sort of know, huh? Yeah. Where you got next, huh? Okay, Rebecca Mullet requested This Is The Day. This Is The Day. Yeah. Woohoo, that's the wedding, wedding version. Wedding one. This yeah. is sang at our wedding. Scott wedding. Wesley Brown, yeah, they sang this one at our wedding. I think brother Paul Yoder did the Paul and Herman and Becky, I think, sang this one, right? Uh-oh. Is there only one verse? Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, it could be. Well, it's I don't know. Verses. Okay, let's try it. What? What you looking for? I was just saying first. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm so glad He made you. With each rising sun, you are here by my side. You are more than a dream come true. Thanks for all your happy anniversary wishes. You guys have added so much to our to our lives. We were thinking about that in prayer tonight before we came on. We were I was just like, God, thank you for that, uh, for this opportunity to hang out with you guys. And honestly, it's one of our fun things that we look forward to this weekend, right? And getting away and yet being able to hang out with you guys for an hour or so singing. I hope you enjoy singing along. I do hear from some of you that you do sing along, and I love that. So, yeah, let's, let's keep it that way. Lifting our voices in praise to the Lord, right? Okay, Mary Kilmer requested, What a friend we have in Jesus. All right, and we do know this one, Mary Kilmer. <laughs> I think. I better not say that until we try singing it. <laughs> We're going to do this in the key of D, I think. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh.
something for you guys in heaven uh, sometime when the, after the Lord comes back and, and the dust has settled down a little bit <laughs> there's going to be dust in heaven but <laughs> anyway we're going to have us a, 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 a living room sing along choir session just for a little bit alright we all get together <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> okay Teresa Love all requested I surrender all I surrender all. I love it. Teresa. <coughs> what a song of commitment. This is one of them songs that I think sometimes as a song leader, I remember leading songs throughout the years and, and then you look at the words and you try to match them with, you know, the message of the day or something and you wonder, boy, do I really mean those words when I sing it? Am I really surrendering all to the Lord? And I think we say, yeah, amen, right? Oh, to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him In His presence daily live I surrender living room sing-along fans from the get-go cousins of ours twins but uh, I heard the last I got was that Annie is in the hospital with COVID Anna Anna and uh, she has been challenged health-wise in quite a few areas in her life throughout the years and uh, there is a lot of concern for her let's pray for her and lift her up to the Lord as a matter of fact I'd like to just take time in our program to do that and then sing a song that's one of her favorites, How Beautiful Heaven Must Be, that she just really loved and asked for over and over. But uh, yeah, Annie in the hospital, and I, you know, I haven't, I don't know if I have the last most current information, but she was really, um, my sister Marianne said she was not sounding well at all. So let's lift, having difficulty breathing with COVID, let's lift her up to the Lord and all those who are struggling with COVID. Heavenly Father, tonight, Yes, we surrender all to you. We want your will to be done, but we do not 
want to be defeated by Satan and his attempts to destroy, his attempts to bring confusion and pain. So right now, we would just pray that you would surround Anna's bedside with, with a host of angels, Lord, of healing, bringing healing to her and pray that she would uh, be re restored to health. We pray for Aunt Fanny as well. You know Fanny's struggle uh, health-wise. We, we pray for healing for both of those, Lord. And thank you for the love they have for you and the testimony they have of your grace in their lives and what all they've come through. You're an amazing God. And we just pray for your touch. And fathers for others who, who uh, are struggling with COVID even now. And uh, we just lift them up to you or any other illness, Father God. We pray for healing for this room for our friends, for our family. You are the healer. Nothing is impossible with you. So we bring ourselves to you again by faith, knowing that you will work out your will for your glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Did she request this song? Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead and say it, hon. Okay. She had requested this song, Heal Me. Um, and it's very fitting for right now. My, uh, my allergies are acting up a little bit more than usual. I'm not sure why. It comes from laying around in the, in, all day but not getting some fresh air. But Fanny asked for this song. Annie, I mean, asked for this song. One of my favorites through the years. It's another. It's too low. Let's go. Boy, do I have a um, capo? I don't bring my, didn't bring my capo along, I don't think. It's another good to see you Sunday morning. Oh, I hardly hear the words fall off my tongue Looking in myself for signs of something That's long gone, long gone Oh, I stumble through the verse that says you love me As the voices echo, my thoughts drift away and I close my eyes, ashamed I'm feeling nothing. But I pray, I pray, heal me, heal these eyes, heal this heart, heal my mind, breathe your breath of life, heal me, awake my soul from this sleep, give me back the joy of fixed on you. I don't have the strength to overcome this distance, but you do. Yes, you do. So heal me, heal these eyes, heal this heart, heal my mind, breathe your breath of life, heal me, awake my soul. crushed and busted up and broken and wounded and misused and abused and we've made lousy choices as well and we bring them to the Lord and he takes these ashes and makes beauty out of them that's our Lord Woohoo! I love it wow 
Okay. That's worth singing about. Ruth and Lester Weber requested I Was in Sin's Prison. Hey, Ruth and Lester Weber. Are those Weber's from Alabama? I don't know. We better not say, huh? <laughs> Jesus signed my pardon, and we're going to do this in the key of D. Whoops, my pick just dumped away. Are we running over time, honey? We don't have any clocks around. Tell us what time it is. I was in since prison, oh so dark and cold. Just a lost sheep wandering from God's eternal fold. Then the door swung open, Jesus spoke to me. I have signed your pardon, now you may go free. Jesus signed my pardon, this I surely know. He took my place on Calvary. sign our pardon. And I'll tell you what. Hey, did you guys enjoy that men's quartet that, um, yeah, Brian Fox and his brothers and uh, relatives, anyway, I knew those guys, well, sort of knew them. Brian, Mr. Fox, Brian, he was the one that taught the school up, or the principal of the school, and also his his brother, uh, what's his brother's name? The short guy with the bass voice, a uh, shorter guy. Anyway, he, he coached a basketball team. Those guys, they were so aggressive and competitive. I had to love them just to watch them. And even Pop Pop Fox was one aggressive competitor. <laughs> and so, so it was really kind of satisfying for a while to just, uh, as a basketball team, go up there and whoop them boys. Well, not whoop. That's not the right word. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun comp competing. But anyway, uh, yeah, that quartet sang for years. And boy, Brian and you guys, thank you for using your talents for the Lord the way you did throughout the years. Blessing so many people. Where are we going, hon? Okay, Sally Hostel requested Hallelujah Square. Oh, Sally, it's a good song, Hallelujah Square. In the key of C. I saw a blind man tapping along, losing his way as he passed through the throng. Tears filled my eyes.
to look forward to. We were I forgot I said we're going to sing that How Beautiful Heaven Must Be, didn't I? Let's do that. Let's sing that for Annie and Fanny especially. I know a lot of you think about heaven a lot. As we get older, we do. <laughs> and it's going to be awesome. People have asked me, can you describe it? And I try, but I don't think I get close. We read of the place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. These truths in God's word he has given. How beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful heaven must be. tonight at that at that restaurant at 7 30 right we got too much time we're gonna keep singing huh <laughs> kitty wells wrote this song go ahead honey hey, hey, for wayne it. miller requested matthew 24 wayne miller we had to dig deep for this one i believe the time is coming for the lord to come again i believe the end is nearing every day i believe today with Matthew 24. We are living surely living in the days we speak about. All of these we now are having every day. Let's be ready for his coming. Let us greet him with a shout. For he tells us in his word to watch and pray. While upon truth in that song and it woo tell you what mm, it's getting closer it's a happening time is coming there's the heal me we had stuck in there for annie okay you can see that with memory okay mary philburn requested for her father-in-law's 90th birthday amazing grace and i think his, his last birth name? Yeah, his, his 90th. name's Lester, and it's his 90th. I think it was the 19th, though. The 19th? Well, that's okay. That's close enough. Happy birthday to you, Lester. Happy birthday to you, 90. Happy birthday, dear Lester. Happy birthday to you. And we're going to sing Amazing Grace for you, Lester. It is God's amazing grace that got us where we're at, isn't it? Amazing. Let me, let me take it up a little bit. I'm sorry. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 
rest of the people in the Moth Tower saying, eh, we're a little scared about that, but we got one more song we'll sing, okay? <laughs> and then if they kick us out, we're going to blame you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, Linda Dixon requested, uh, what a day that will be. Yeah, Linda Dixon, what a day that's going to be for all of us, right? The key of D. There is coming a day when no heartache shall come. Sorry about all those songs we didn't know, but that's the way she rolls sometimes. And uh, yeah, we'd love to go on with you, but I don't want to uh, make too much noise in the motel for too long, right? <laughs> Plus, I got a hot date with this chick tonight. Woohoo! It's going to be tough. I got to dress up a little bit, I think. Am I going to dress up a little bit? Maybe. Anyway, got to get rid of my jeans, you know, look all formal and all, look all sweet and everything. But thanks for joining us and uh, for wishing us this happy anniversary. It's been a great 41 years, and I'll do it all over again with you, honey. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight for the gift of love, for the gift of marriage, for the gift for many of us. And Father, for those who, yeah, wish that they would have that and, and don't have that. We don't know how to pray exactly, except that your will would be done and that you would um, just bless them in special ways. And Father, for the calling that you've given them. And Father, for those of us who are married, help us how to learn to love each other as we should, to lay down our lives when we need to, to lift each other up, to 
work for unity, not just in marriage, but in the family, in the home, and then also in the church family, Lord. We come against the spirit of the division that's out there so strongly and, and, and the applications that uh, so many people are struggling with. We just pray for, for us to recognize there's one God. It's you, Lord, and you are Jesus. So we pray that you would just bring us together under your headship, under your leadership. May we follow you. Father God, we pray for healing for this nation, feeling for this country. And Father, you know what your will is there as well. We look forward to your second, to your return, to you, the second coming, we call it. When you return, Lord, we look forward. We want to be found faithful. We want to be found uh, doing your business, doing your kingdom work for your glory and for your praise. You're a great God. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. And yes, it's dark here. You won't be able to see the ocean, but you could probably maybe hear it. No, we, we, we had we cracked the door open all night last night. Well, most of the night last night, so it got too cold because <laughs> we love to hear it. So blessings to you all. We will see you, Lord willing, tomorrow night from Sheridan.